Tight cash conditions in China's financial system are turning up the heat on corporate issuers and raising the risk of more defaults in the coming months. Amid signs authorities in Beijing are planning to scale back pandemic stimulus. Investors hold yuan-denominated corporate bonds worth nearly 2.6 trillion yuan that are due to mature. Investors are allowed to demand early repayment in March and April, according to S&P Global Ratings. The wave of maturities follows a flood of issuance in early 2020 as companies took advantage of China's aggressive policy response to the pandemic to raise money at low rates. Last year, the credit risk of Chinese issuers had been delayed but not eliminated, said Chang Li, China country specialist at S&P Global Ratings. The refinancing risk is very big, even if the funding costs are very high, issuers have to accept that. In December, sources told Reuters that China's central bank would scale back economic support in 2021, but that any tightening was unlikely to take place soon. On Friday, the PBOC made a large liquidity injection into the banking system after several days of net drains. The new liquidity slightly eased investor concerns, though money rates remain high. Any policy normalization will have to be gradual due to significant leverage in the system and doubt regarding global growth outlook, said Wai Mei Long, fixed income portfolio manager at eSpring Investments. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it informative, please consider giving the channel a subscribe.